Welcome to the video lecture on the examples of periodic and aperiodic signals. In this video, we'll consider a continuous time signal x of t which is equals to cos square 2 pi t. Here, the task is to determine is this signal periodic or not. If periodic, what is the fundamental period? So, cos square 2 pi t can also be written as 1 by 2 into bracket 1 plus cos 4 pi t. So now we can compare this signal with the standard signal cos omega t. So we can compare this with the signal cos omega t. And we can get omega equals to 4 pi. But we also know that omega is equals to 2 pi f, which is equals to 4 pi in this case. Therefore we can get f is equals to 2, 2 hertz. And the period t equals to 1 by f which is equals to 1 by 2 which is equals to 0.5 seconds. So now the task is to determine is this signal periodic or not. For that we'll consider the condition x of t plus capital T is equals to x of t. So now we already know what is x of t. So now we'll consider x of t plus t. So capital T is 0.5 in our case. So we'll consider x of t plus 0.5 which is equals to the given signal x square, the given signal cos square 2 pi t plus 0.5. So we'll replace the t with t plus 0.5. So again this can be written as 1 by 2 into bracket 1 plus cos 4 pi into bracket t plus 0.5. But we know that cos of a plus b, so we need to use the result here, cos of a plus b which is equals to cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b. So now, now the task is to we need to use this result to expand cos 4 pi into bracket t plus 0.5. So which is equals to 1 by 2 into bracket 1 plus cos 4 pi t into cos 4 pi into 0.5 which is cos 2 pi. Similarly minus sin 4 pi t into sin 2 pi. So these terms are there into the inner brackets. So we know that cos 2 pi is 1. The value of cos 2 pi is 1 and sin 2 pi is 0. Using these results it can be written as 1 by 2 into bracket 1 plus cos 4 pi t. So now it reduces to 1 by 2 into bracket 1 plus cos 4 pi t and this is also equals to cos square of 2 pi t. So if, if we look closely this is nothing but the given signal x of t. So now we have proved that x of t plus capital T is equals to x of t itself. That means the given signal itself. Therefore, the given signal is periodic in nature with the fundamental period t equals to 0.5 seconds.